Well, welcome. It's John Neal here again, and here's another demonstration for you to do with chalkboard artwork. Well, here in England it's hot and dry, it's in the middle of summer. It's not usually this dry, we need some rain. But I thought I'd do a board for you about church fates and festivals. Uh, and so to get an overlook of the overall design of the way a board would be made and uh, the, the feelings behind that. Ah, 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 I haven't told you about the DVD. See, these YouTube snippets are all well and good. But if you go to my website, you'll get the full effect, 35 minutes, and you can buy the whole DVD. Absolutely. Well, here I'm writing the word summer. I hope you like the music, by the way. It's from the Pig Dyke Monts group from East Anglia. The music's been written by Robin Griggs, who unfortunately died in 2008. Anyway, look them up on YouTube, the Pig Dyke Molly. They're fantastic, and their costumes are just unbelievable. Anyway, here we go. Doing the word fair, just in outline with white with a thick pen. Bit of overlap going on there. And the, the bars of white, which I don't need, I'll knock out with black in a moment. Now I'm going to do a different style, and this is the point of this video really, is that I'm going to put all the detail in on the word fair and, and summer. But the detail underneath, fairly straightforward, nice and crisp and clear really. So this Saturday in uh, freehand of yellow, and now I'm going to do the word village green. In green, there's a thing. And uh, it's a bit tighter, a bit. Oh, nice line. Right here, I'm just going over the yellow. The first yellow didn't take very well. It's gone a bit pale, so sometimes you have to do this. The pens are not that sophisticated. Right, I don't like that R. That's got to go. I'm coming on with the white a bit quick, but uh, it's drying fairly quickly. There, that's a bit better. The ends of the letters are always, I think, important to get them right, whether they're slightly rounded or squared. Right, now I'm going to just show a very simple uh, way of colouring in the letters, and that's put some green on the top. While it's still wet, just rub your thumb down and smear the ink, in this case the green, down to give an effect of it coming down the, the letters. You may have to do this a couple of times to get the effect that you want but uh, it works quite well. Right, a, a little bit more green on and pull it down with your thumb, that's all you need to do. Now back with the white, but clearly with the thick edge of the white. You see me turning the pen each time, make a mark, just to strengthen up all those white borders to the, the letters. And the overlap there, there as well. Now I'm just using the small black to go round the letters to create the overlap effect and the white just to tidy up some of the edges and uh, that's important to do that I think to get that right. Now back with the thin black just put a mark in the corner and while it's still wet just smudge it down with your finger you get quite a nice shadow and metallic effect but you've got to put it where you imagine the dark areas of the letters would be, so tucked inside there. And on the overlaps as well, there'd be a, 
a shadow of some sort. So that's a good place to put those. Ah, dots. Dots are very useful. Add a bit of sparkle and a bit of party feel about the letters. Try not to put one on top of the other and you can clump them together in places and spread them out in others. Now, I'm just going over once more with uh, another white. Now it's very dry. and put an extra highlight on the top right hand side. Right, back to the word summer, and I'm going over the white again on top of the yellow, and I'll just tidy that up with a white, a thin white, on the top right hand sides of all the letters. And then take a yellow and do the left hand undersides as well. And there's a butterfly. Very summery. Now having looked at the word fair, I think I'll just add a bit more decoration to it. And this is the, the main part of this board. So the word fair jumps out at you. And then I've done a shadow with a bit of highlight on it. But you notice I haven't done all the letters with that much decoration. Now there's a bit of a space down here. So I've just marked out, as you can see, and putting a sort of village stall in. Flags, a few people knocking around and uh, add a few more colours. Having done that much, I'm just going to make the word Saturday, the 17th of July, stand out a little bit more by adding white on the top, half of all these letters and numbers. And then finally, put the border around, and suddenly the whole thing jumps out again. If you've not heard me say this, it's well worth putting the border around and marking it out first. So you can cut the letters through the border as well. That's all for now. Thank you for all you folks who have subscribed to my channel and sent me some emails, some very nice comments. Thank you very much indeed. Do keep in touch and that's all for now. Bye.